Attack on Mika! Hello? Oh, it's a Moe. It's me, Nico. Nico? I'm sorry, but I'm working right now. Can you call me back later? Huh? Do you think I care about your situation? Anyway, I'm guessing you have nothing to do next Sunday. We're going to have a matchmaking party, so come. Huh? That's too sudden. What? I know you have nothing else to do. You should open that day even if you had something anyway. Why does she have to tell me that? Come to the party in plain clothes, okay? Oh yeah, and don't wear makeup. Huh? It's a matchmaking party, right? I'm not allowed to dress up? Of course you're not allowed! You're ugly, so you're just there to make me look good. Oh yeah, and invite Kasumi too. You two ugly girls should be enough to make me stand out. <laughs> See ya! Hey, wait! Ugh, gosh, she's so selfish. What's wrong, Tamoy? Oh, Katsumi! Well, actually, Nico, the girl who just called me, along with this girl, Katsumi, had been my friend since high school. But Katsumi and I are plain boring girls, so we always served as a foil for Nico. So, yeah, Katsumi, we have a matchmaking party to go to this Sunday. Huh? I I'm only interested in anime and game characters. I don't want to go to a matchmaking party. What? Are you guys going to have a matchmaking party? Oh, boss! Can I go too? What? What did you just say? I want to go to the matchmaking party too! They say you have to interact with the youngsters in order to think up of new and fresh ideas, right? Right. I see? And if I'm lucky, maybe I can go out with a young girl. That will help me even more with my work. <laughs> What is this 50 year old middle aged man saying? Ugh, but he's our boss, so we can't refuse. Uh, okay, sure. Ooh, really? Then I'll be looking forward to it. La 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 la, what should I wear? Yo ho 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 ho! T Tamoe, are you sure about that? Won't Nico get upset? Yeah, she probably will. But Chief isn't a bad guy, so maybe it'll be okay? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. Although we felt a little anxious, we left it as that until the actual day. Well then, let's start by introducing ourselves. My name is Hayato Inogashira. I work at the same company as Miss Kira. And this guy over here is... Wow! Both of them are so handsome! Nico has a terrible personality, but she sure knows many people. Okay then, next I'll start! I'm Nico! Let's have fun today, okay? Yay! Whoa there! What kind of character is that? What happened to her harsh way of speaking and arrogant attitude? My hobbies are cooking, and on my days off of work, I enjoy my time baking. Were you the one who produced a lump of dark matter during cooking class in high school? We thought it was black magic! I know you haven't cooked since then. Okay then, next up is Tomoe. Please introduce yourself. N my name is Tomoe Yamada. My hobbies are... Isn't she so plain and boring? Huh? She always wears plain clothes like this, right? And you aren't even wearing makeup today. Huh? You're the one who told me to come dressed up in plain and boring clothes. My name is Katsumi. Katsumi, your voice is too small. That's why you don't have any friends, you know? Well, I guess it's okay because I'm your friend, though. As you can see, I'm so nice to everyone! People who are really nice don't say things like that. Um, I see. By the way, weren't you saying one more person will be coming? Oh yeah, apparently he's coming late. Okay then, why don't we just start without him? Okay, cheers! <sighs> I can only imagine the situation getting worse. Oh well, I'll just stay quiet in the corner and drink my beer. Um... Tomoe and Katsumi? I yes M Me? I might be mistaken, but have we met somewhere before? Oh, I don't think so. Hmm, but when I take a closer look... Hmm, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, what happened to Moe? Are you feeling bad? Maybe we should go to the restroom. You too, Katsumi! What the hell are you doing, you bitch? Oh, why do I have to? I'm fine. You'll come, right, you two? Y yes. 
Hey, you two! I'm going after Hayato, so stop talking to him like that! But it's a matchmaking party. Isn't it weird if we don't talk at all? Th that's right. If he talks to us, we have to reply. Huh? Are you making excuses to me? Quit fooling around! You two ugly bitches are here just to make me look good! Don't forget that! Or, do you girls think you're pretty or something? We didn't say that. I'm the only one here who is pretty! There's a mirror right there! Why don't you check your face one last time? An ugly face is all you'll see! I... I got it. Gosh, you're so useless. Why did you even invite a 50-year-old middle-aged man? And he's late, too. I can't believe it. I guess he's the same as you two. A useless boss. Oh, but he just contacted me saying he'll be here. Hmm? He's already in front of the restaurant? Anyway, just don't talk to my Hayato anymore. You two have fun with that boss of yours. We're back. Was Tomoe okay? Yes, she's all fine now, so you don't have to worry. Oh, is this the matchmaking party? Hey, y'all! Sorry I was wait, my friends. Please forgive me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, another weirdo? Hmm? What happened, Nico? Your face is pale! Huh? N nothing's wrong! Oh, is the girl over there not feeling well? Then allow me to take good care of you, princess! Uh, uh, I'm f fine D Don't w worry about me? Nico is acting so differently. Hmm, why is she so restless? A little later. By the way, Mr. Chief, why were you late today? Well, I had to sneak out of the house so my wife wouldn't notice. What a hassle! <laughs> oh, boss, you're married? Th then why did you come to a matchmaking party? Ah, uh, no worries. I cheated on my wife six times already. But my wife still hasn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. I think it's cool that you're in control of your own life. Hmm? Do you think so? Well, I guess I am so cool. And that's why them gals love me. I'm a womanizer. And if them ladies come to me... What else can I do but to love them back? <laughs> Our boss. Now that he's drunk, nobody can stop him. <sighs> Everyone is looking at us weirdly. I just want to go home. Nico, are you okay? You've been shaking. Th that's enough, Daddy! I've been listening to you quietly, but I can't take it anymore! Aren't you embarrassed about yourself? Huh? Uh, are you Nico? You were wearing so much makeup, I didn't notice! D daddy Wait, Nico? Was our boss's daughter? N whoops! That's right! This cutie pie is my one and only daughter! <laughs> my, my! Was that what it was? You still remember the promise we made that day, huh? That day? Remember when you were young? You went to the city hall all by yourself and brought home a marriage notification. You asked me to sign the papers so that we can get married. My, you were so cute. Th that was when I was a kid. I still carry around that marriage notification you gave me that day. Here, inside this necklace. <laughs> Brings back good memories. Recently, Nico has been acting cold to me. But this reminds me that she still loves me. <laughs> G gosh you got it wrong what a surprising situation but isn't this a good chance um boss i want to know more about nico hey you what are you trying to do i can tell she's such a wonderful daughter i'm sure she does many great things in the house too Ooh, i see you and nico are close huh but to be honest she's so lazy at home she tries to make me do everything for her See? This is her at all. Yeah! Wow, he's spilling more than I thought. Ah, Nico's so cute even when she's lazy. Ooh, so she's like this at home. I see. It, it's not what it looks like, Hayato. Th this is... it's... Anyway, it will make me really happy if you continue being friends with my lazy daughter. Thank you, Tomoe. Of course. Stop it already, Daddy! We're going home! 
Hey, don't pull me like that. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't supposed to be like this. Um, are you okay? Uh, how are you two? I see you haven't changed a bit, Miss Kira. Ch change? So you haven't noticed, huh? Remember? You used to make fun of me in high school, saying I'm plain, boring, and a nerd. What? You're that boring, introvert nerd? I know I used to be boring, but because you made fun of me, Miss Kira, I tried to change my appearance. I was contemplating whether to join this matchmaking party or not, but I thought that I should just forgive you if you had changed. But I guess you haven't changed at all. I feel... sorry for you. <laughs> Nico was so shocked, she lost her conscience right then and there. Even after a few days, Nico didn't contact us at all. I guess after all that, it's hard for her to talk to us. And I, on the other hand... Tomoe! This way! Hayato! Sorry to keep you waiting. After the matchmaking party, Hayato and I decided to go on a date. Are you sure you're okay with going out with a girl like me? Well, of course! Why would you say that? A genuine person like you, Tomoe, is a hundred times better than you-know-who. After all, I realize that the best way to live is to be honest. My right eye is artificial. Right before I graduated from university, I found out that I had a skin cancer called malignant melanoma. It was a rare case of cancer in my ocular mucous membrane. It was a cancer 1.4 centimeters big, and they had to take my right eye out because it was life-threatening. Not just because of the looks, but in order to keep the shape of my face, it was decided that I get an artificial eye. Why does this happen to me? There isn't a day that I don't feel this way, but I can never get my right eye back, even if I keep crying. It doesn't make any difference if I cry or smile. Then, I'd rather spend my day smiling. It's only recently that I've started to think this way. To be honest, there are so many days when I still feel devastated. But my boyfriend has been supporting me. I'll be your right eye for you, Rui. Thank you. Living with only one eye can be very difficult and inconvenient. I often trip on the stairs when they don't have any colors because I see them as the same height. Pouring water in a glass can be different from how I used to do it with two eyes. I need to get help from people around me. But my family, who I expected to be there for me, didn't come to see me at the hospital after my surgery. But Kaname supported me. Do you want me to carry your bag to your room? No, uh, giving me a ride home is enough. Thank you. Call me anytime. Okay. I let my family know when I was leaving hospital, but all they just said was, okay. They weren't like that before. They're here. I could hear my parents and my older sister laughing in the living room. I wonder what she's gonna look like. Don't be too harsh on her. I know. But, I can't believe she got an artificial eye. If I were her, I wouldn't want to live with a fake eye. Are they really my family? Oh, welcome back, ugly girl. Uh, ugly? <sighs> You're ugly now, you know. Uh, so this is the artificial eye. It's not that bad. But still, it's fake. It's unnatural and gross. You were pretty, just like me. I'm sorry. I might not be able to get married having a sister like you. What are you gonna do if I can't get married? You're pretty, so everyone wants to get married with you, right? Oh, you're right. I'm not like you, who won't be able to get married or get a job. I wasn't ready to process everything yet, and the way my family treated me really hurt me. My parents and my sister are just upset with the whole thing. I had to think that way, or I wouldn't be able to behave normally. After that... You're ugly as usual, ugly girl. Rui, don't go out much. I'm ashamed of you. Ah, <sighs> you have no chance of getting married. My family kept hurting me with their harsh words. But I'm not gonna get hurt and cry all the time. I'm not gonna let their words hurt me. Rui, there are steps there, so watch out. Okay, thanks. 
Huh? Rui. Sis, who is he? Hi, I'm Kaname. I'm going out with Rui-san. Nice to meet you. For real? You really want to go with this ugly? You're too good for her. It's a waste of time. Don't look so serious. Kaname-kun, let's exchange numbers now that we got to know each other. Hey, sis. Sure, I would love to exchange numbers with a pretty girl like you, Misa-san. <laughs> I'm glad that I've got to know you. Likewise. I had a bad feeling. Kaname, you're... I was concerned with how Kaname reacted, but I was too busy with going to hospital and looking for a job. I didn't have much time to see him. My sister kept in touch with Kaname all these times. I learned that when I told her that I got a job. There was a job for an ugly girl like you? Then you can leave this house, right? Uh, huh? I'm thinking of getting married to Konami now. Konami? Yes, your ex-boyfriend's Konami. What do you... It's better for Konami to get married to me than go out with an ugly girl, right? I sent a message to Konami immediately, but... Sorry. It was all he said in his reply. It's hard for you to see Konami and I getting clingy, right? So, leave. And I don't want you to have anything to do with me. I'm not gonna invite you to my wedding, but I'll accept your gift. Don't forget to give me one. Listening to her words, I realized that I've lost my one and only support that I had. I left my home at once and looked for an apartment that I can move into. After that, I worked hard and kept myself very busy so that I had no time to think about my family or Kaname. The possibility of metastasis or recurrence of cancer is high two to three years after the surgery. I need to get follow-ups for five to ten years. I couldn't stop thinking about recurrence or metastasis. I had lots of friends come over at my place every day, but I felt devastated when I was alone. I would hug myself in a small room when I was feeling depressed. If Konami was with me. Three years have passed. It was a call for my mom, who I had not talked to for three years. I had no intention of going back, and I didn't want to. But it would be okay to tell them that I didn't get recurrence in these three years. So I decided to go home. You're back. What do you want? Don't act so formal. You're the ones who told me you wanted nothing to do with me, right? About that. Rui chan we need your help. Help? Well, Misa and Kaname broke up. And Misa got desperate and had a car accident. It was a self-damage accident, but... What are you trying to tell me? Your sister got partially paralyzed. And she lost her eyesight as well. So what?! You know that we're old. We can't take care of a partially paralyzed person. And you understand how she feels because you have an artificial eye, don't you? No. It's impossible. Huh? I told you that it's impossible. I can never understand how you guys feel. You were never there when I was feeling hopeless and needed you the most. Don't be so selfish! I survived without anyone. Yes. I survived even after my family and my boyfriend left me. It's your turn to live that way. Really? Y you were back? <laughs> What's wrong? You look sad. Seeing Yuri, all the feelings that I've suppressed came out. It's been so long since I cried last. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Really, about Konami. It was for your sake that he got close to Misa-san. For... me? Your family was really harsh on you, right? He thought it wasn't good for you emotionally, and for you to get better. He was worried about you. And he knew that Misa-san was obsessed with him, so he was gonna use that against her and dump her in a harsh way. He's so... stupid. I'd rather have him by my side than his having a revenge. <laughs> that stupid is actually here. What? I preached him never to make another mistake. So, if you can forgive him, will you see him again? 
Before hearing Yuri's words until the end, I rushed out. I'm not going to make another mistake again! I'm Ronka Suzuno. I came back to my hometown to participate in my middle school reunion today. Ronka, long time no see. It's been too long. I had some rough days in my middle school, but it felt nice to see my old classmates again. Huh? You are Suzuno? Oh no, you look so low-key that I thought you were a staff or something. You haven't been to any reunions. So you're alive. I've been surrounded by scents since I was young. Scents of flowers, sunshine, new tatamis. It made me happy just being surrounded by these nice scents. Did you get a new perfume? Yes, I did. I knew it! It's the same musk, but a bit sweeter. It's a refreshing scent. I can't tell any of that. I might have a bit more acute sense of smell than other people. I noticed that back then. Susano, your sense of smell is not like humans. What? I am a human! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think you should get a job in which you can use your sense of smell. What's that? She's trying to act nice. That's so annoying. I know. What is a job that allows me to use my sense of smell? Well, how about making perfumes? Perfume? I don't like artificial fragrances much, though. I think making perfume is great. An introvert like you will make perfumes. Nobody wants to wear perfumes that you make. I know. Hey, you guys! Mika, Ray, let them say whatever. A job that allows me to use my sense of smell. I've never thought about that. But I decided to do more research. It wasn't a well-known job in Japan, but I was fascinated by the idea of creating nice scents. Hmm, I didn't know there was such a job. It's perfect for you, Ronka. We'll support you. Thank you, and I did some research, and I found out that I can make perfumes if I have the right ingredients, so I made these based on my images of you two. <laughs> What's this? A perfume? Give it back to me! Huh. Ah, uh, you brought it, so it's your fault. <gasps> yeah, that's right. It smells bad. Clean it up right now. <sighs> we haven't seen you since we graduated. What do you do now? I'm like a researcher. A research? It suits you well. You're so low-key. You didn't come to any of the reunions because you couldn't come out of your lab. I heard that Mika and Ray would come today. Mika and Ray, they're so successful globally, unlike you. You must be bragging about them to your introvert friends saying how they were your classmates, right? This is so stupid. Huh? What did you say? By the way, is your perfume fragrant olive, Puffco? You're right! Your sense of smell is still acute. Anyone can tell. You smell bad. Bad? There are different kinds of perfumes. Your perfume gives strong scents, even if you wear it just a bit. It's the right kind of perfume to be wearing to where people gather, but just a half or one-third of what you're wearing is enough. And you, Freko, you're wearing different kinds of perfumes on your neck and decollet, aren't you? How did you know? These two kinds of scents are killing each other. They don't go well together. As for Coco, you're out of the question. Your armpit gets sweaty, so it's better to use deodorant. <gasps> out of the question? You can't wash it out, so why don't you wipe it out with these? Wearing perfumes is not easy. It's not a good manner to wear such a strong scent. Who do you think you are? An introvert like you might not know this, but it's one of the most popular perfumes right now. That's right! You must not know perfume of floral mucus. An introvert like you can never wear this kind of perfume. A perfume chooses a person who wears it. I know what floral mucus is. That's why I'm telling you. Don't you know? Ranka is a perfumer. A perfumer? You may not know what a perfumer is, but a perfumer is a specialist who creates new scents by blending fragrances choosing from thousands of them. And you don't have to copy us just because we praised a perfume by Floral Muget in the magazines. We're not copying! You don't even know what Muget means, do you? It's meaning... Muget is a lily of the valley in French. Perfumes of Muget are created by a perfumer, Ranka Susano. Susano created them? Yes, and moreover, Ronka is one of the few who was given the title Renee in France where fragrances are more developed. There are only 400 people in this world who's got the title of Renee. They can tell the differences of about 6,000 cents. Now can you understand how great she is? S Susan!
know you're great! For real? I knew you could be successful globally. You're lying! <gasps> There's no way you thought like that! That's a complete 180! Susano, no, Ronka, we're friends, right? Can you make us original perfumes? One and only perfume. That sounds so nice. It's much better to wear something you like. And there are other stores where you can get original fragrances. You don't need to ask an introvert like me, you know? Don't be mean. You told me that a perfume chooses a person who wears it, right? A perfume never chooses a person. It only helps to bring out one's charm. Why don't you make one for us? That's right, we're friends, right? Don't be a cheapskate! I can make them for you, but I want you to at least learn how to wear them. Even beautiful scents can make other people feel bad. I told you before, but I think you guys should wipe off your perfume immediately. The reason why no one has come closer is because of your perfume. Nick and Ray, these are perfumes that I wanted to give to you before. Will you accept these for me? Of course! Of course. <laughs> My name is Hiroki Narumi. I just got accepted into a private elementary school. Good job, Hiroki! I'm going to treat you to some expensive sushi. Sushi? Yay! <laughs> Study hard and go after your dreams to be an astronaut someday, okay? Yeah! And make a bunch of friends, too. Yeah, I can't wait to go to school. I'm going to study a lot and make a bunch of friends. School's going to be so much fun. Before starting school, I was filled with hope and dreams of an exciting school life. I never expected things to go so south. First day of school. Wow, everyone's dressed so nicely. A new school, a new classroom, and new classmates. The whole atmosphere made me so nervous, and I couldn't talk to anyone. But one of the boys came up to me. Hey, what's your name? Uh, uh, hi. I'm Hiroki Narumi. What's your name? I'm Sunio Frogster. Hiroki, was it you? Huh? Is he laughing at me? Why are you laughing, Suneo? Is something funny? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Your clothes. They're so shabby. Uh-huh. They're so plain and shabby. How much did they cost? Like 10 cents? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. That's perfect for a bum like you. <laughs> he said 10 cents? That's so funny. <laughs> because of Suneo, I immediately was labeled the poor kid in class. And from that day on, everyone made fun of me for being poor. Check out this pencil case. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, nice! Check out my eraser! Cool, right? Yeah, but look at what Hiroki's using! Uh-huh. <laughs> what a plain pencil case! And your pencils are plain, too! What a bomb! Uh, well, as long as I can use it to write... Huh? You're talking bad to me now, you bum? Hey, give it back! You sassy bum! You wanna know what we do to kids like you? This! Ah! <laughs> now you have two! Good for you! Uh, Dad and Mom, they bought these pencils for me. <laughs> hey, let's go play over there, everyone! I don't want to worry Mom and Dad, so I'm gonna keep this to myself. Things went on like that for a while, and one day, it was Parents' Day. Show everyone what you're made of, Suneo! Yeah, I got this, Mom! <laughs> Attaboy! Hiroki! <laughs> oh, you're Hiroki's mother? Yes, my name is Ryoko Narumi. Nice to meet you. I'm Keruko Frogster, Suneo's mother. Nice to meet you. Uh huh? Ryoko, it's Parents' Day, but you're dressed so plainly, aren't you? Those clothes, they look so cheap. Huh? You can't even buy proper clothes. Why would a poor family like you enroll their child in a private school in the first place? Uh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> You're the only one in here wearing such cheap clothes. <laughs> Why, you must just not have very good taste in clothes. I used to be a model for magazines back in the day, you know. Why don't I help choose some clothes for you at my favorite friend's shop sometime? Oh, that's right. You're too poor to shop there. My bad. <laughs> Don't be mean, Keroko. <laughs> Mom. All right, quiet down, everyone. 
Class is about to begin. Knowing her, I'm sure Mom's not too worried about it. But it made me so mad to watch Mom get insulted like that. I was so excited for today, but this happens. Your mom's a bum, just like you! Suneo. Suneo's mom? What a mean family! I slowly felt my anger building up that day. One of these days... A few days later, today, my parents brought me to an expensive sushi restaurant to celebrate for me. Sorry it took so long to take you out. Go ahead, eat all you want today. Yay! Oh no, not this guy's restaurant. Welcome. Oh. oh. I was looking forward to this day so much, but I ran into the last people that I wanted to see. Why isn't it Ryoko? Good evening. Good evening. Are you guys sure you can afford this place? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, today we're here celebrating my husband's promotion. He works at Alzora Motors, one of the top-ranking companies. He's an elite. Oh, I see. Huh? Did she just say Alzora Motors? We just ignored Suneo's family and started eating. Mmm, tamago is so good, and I love these tuna rolls too. <laughs> good for you. Look, they're poor, so they're ordering the cheap stuff. Oh, you're right. How sad. <laughs> Excuse me, one otoro, please. Coming right up. Oh, she ordered an otoro. I hope they aren't going over their budget. They should learn to stay in their lane. <laughs> we can hear everything. They made fun of us no matter what we ordered. What a bunch of jerks. Mom and Dad went silent. Our fun family dinner was ruined by them. Oh, that's when I got an idea. Hey, Mom, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Are you going to call someone? Yeah. I decided to call. Granda, I want to see you. One hour later. Ah, I'm so full. Check, please. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Oh, Mr. President. Good evening, sir. Oh, why if it isn't Mr. Froggy? What a coincidence. <gasps> Mr. Alzona, thank you for always taking such good care of my husband. Are you alone today, Mr. President? Ah, well, my grandson called and said he wanted to see my face, so I stopped by. He should be here somewhere. I see. That's splendid. Grandpa! Oh, hey, Hiroki. Oh, Dad, you really came? Huh? huh? The second that Suneo's parents connected the dots, they started shivering. But Suneo was clueless and went on as usual. Hey, Hiroki! You want this leftover sea urchin? I bet you're too poor to ever have had one! <laughs> Stop that, Suneo! Why? You guys were laughing at these bums earlier, too! Apologize immediately! Other customers in the restaurant started looking over at the commotion, and we instantly became the center of attention. And they noticed something. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, wait, is that Ryoko Alzora, the supermodel? Oh, you're right! She just disappeared into thin air at the height of her career after getting married to a bus driver! She's a living legend! Ryoko Alzora, unexpected marriage. Married to an ordinary bus driver? Is she serious? Congrats, best wishes! <laughs> I can't believe there are still people who remember me. No way! You're the Yoko Alzora? Yeah, I don't like to get dressed up besides work. Oh yeah, you were a model too, right, Keroko? Teach me all about fashion sometime, please. I'm just a plain looking bum, so I need your help. Uh, no, no thank you. Why not, Mom? You said this old lady had terrible taste in clothes and that you were gonna teach her, right? <sighs> Look at her. Did she really say that? What about you go look into a mirror first? <laughs> I see. So you insulted my family and beat your child to cover it up. It's unbelievable to think that such a man was in my company. I see you for who you really are now, Frogster. Mr. President, I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Snail just cried and his parents went pale and were speechless. A few days later, Suneo suddenly transferred out of school. Today will be the last day that Suneo will be with us. It seems like his father was transferred to an old factory in the countryside, and his promotion was postponed as well. Too bad. After Suneo left, the other kids stopped making fun of me, and life became so much more peaceful. I love going to school now. 
but I wonder why Suneo had to suddenly leave. I'm just a kid. I don't understand these things very well. Wow, you've got a hundred on your test again. You're such a great girl, Nina. Not really. Of course you are. You're our daughter. You have a bright future. <laughs> I'm home. Wait a second, Owie. You had a test, didn't you? You got your test back, right? This one. What is this score? You're such a helpless kid. Are you really my daughter? I can't believe my daughter gets such a low score on her test. I'm sorry. I'm Owie. My parents are both doctors, so everyone might think that I'm lucky. But my parents are always harsh on me because I'm not smart. I could only enter a local high school where all the delinquents go to. And when I told them that I wanted to go to college... College? You? Are you kidding? You can never be good enough even if you go to college. You'll still be a burden to the society. Get a job. But there's something that I want to do. We don't want to waste money on you. Don't waste our money by going to college. Get a job and pay us back for what we've used on you. There's nothing else you can do. You're such a useless child. Mom, I want to go to that high school. And after that, I want to go to the university and become a researcher someday. Wow, that's my girl. Of course you can. Your father and I will help you as much as we can, Nina. What? She said no to me, but not to Nina? Unlike me, my younger sister, Nina is a genius who's good at both studies and sports. She went to a prestigious private high school and graduated with a top grade. Then, she went on to a good university and got a job at a research center as a researcher after she graduated. On the other hand, I'm a high school graduate, so I could only get an underpaid job at a bread factory, where I had to work overtime regularly, and my parents took away my money. One day, my friend from high school, Hibiki, came over to my house. Your parents are not home today? No, I don't know where they went, but they won't be home until early evening. Then let's have fun today! Okay, two hours later. We're home! What? They're back already? Oh, you're here. And who's that girl? I'm Hibiki. What's that color of your hair? And your makeup is so flashy. I can tell you're an idiot just by looking at you. <laughs> I guess a friend of an idiot can only be an idiot. <laughs> huh? Don't let an idiot come over to our house. I don't want Nina to be like you guys. Hey, don't talk badly about my friend. Shut up. This is our house, you know. There is no place for an idiot here. We want to meet Nina's fiancé, but you made me feel bad. Nina's getting married? You didn't tell me anything about it. Really? Didn't I tell you about it? But it's none of your business. We have no intention of inviting you to our wedding. We can't have an idiot in our family. We're ashamed of you. What? Nina, are you okay with that? Hmm? I don't care if you're there or not. That's right, Nina! <laughs> Why do you always treat me like this? Why do you look down on me and my friend just because I'm not good at my studies? Why do you take away my place? That's absurd! Owie! Don't complain, you're hopeless. We only need smart people in our family. We don't need someone who is not smart enough. If you don't like the way we are, just leave. I don't want to see you anymore. Okay, I'll leave then. I hate you all. <laughs> I'm so happy that you won't be with us anymore. Good, we have to have a celebration. We need to celebrate that she's finally leaving us. I'm sorry you had to see that, Hibiki. It's okay, don't worry. I was hoping a bit that they'll stop me if I tell them that I'm leaving them. <laughs> but my family didn't need me at all. There's no place for me anywhere. Owie, you can stay at my place for a while. What? But I don't want to cause you any trouble. It's no trouble at all. We're friends. You can stay with me until you find a room. If you feel like there's no place for you, I'll be there for you. Hibiki. Okay, thank you. I stayed at Hibiki's for a while after that. Then I got a new job, starting living alone, and got a life in which I didn't have to work overtime or on weekends. My only regret is that I couldn't talk back at my parents. But it's okay, it's all my past. One day after I finally forgot about my parents. Hibiki, thanks for helping me back then. I'm enjoying my life now thanks to you. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> oh, someone's here. Wait for a sec. Who is it? Help, Help us, Owie! 
Huh? Mom and Dad? How do you know I live here? That's not important. Just let us in. No way. This is my room. Why do I have to let you in? You're our daughter. Just open the door. Tell me what's going on first or I'll call the police. I insisted, so my mom started telling me what was going on. Well, it turned out that Nina's husband didn't have any conscience at all. He was a psychopath. He let his neighbor's pet go loose and... He broke my parents' stuff and told them that he didn't just to see how they reacted. He pretended to be a good guy before he got married, but he showed his real self after we started living together! He's going to destroy us! I see. That's tough. He must be watching us from somewhere right now! So let us in and help us hide! Huh? No way. What? Why not? Who do you think has raised an idiot like you? Why don't you try to pay us back? You're so cold-hearted! Sorry. I wasn't raised properly by my parents, so I have no idea what it means to pay you back. Will you teach me? How dare you talk to us like that! How dare you talk to her that way! You! You're that idiot! Yes, I am an idiot who can't study, but you can't tell who's good or bad just by how good one can study. To me, elites like you who look down on others seem much more like helpless idiots. You hurt her and you expect her to help you? Stop messing with us! Shut up! It's none of your business! Then who do you think you are? You didn't even try to stop her, but you were happy when she left home. Do you really think you can call yourselves her family? We're her family! We're blood related! So why don't you help us a bit? Family? No, we cut off our relationship, remember? <laughs> so I have no family. Mm-hmm, but you must be in trouble too, right? Stop having a pathetic life living by yourself. It would be much better to live with your family. Huh? Living by myself is great. <laughs> huh? I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and I can use my money and time just for myself. Is there anything better than that? But you must be lonely. Not at all. I'm not lonely at all. So you need to leave immediately. Wait, Owie! We're sorry, so... I found your father and mother. Let's go home now. Dinner will be ready soon. Nina's waiting too. Bye. And my parents were tormented by Nina's husband after that. Nina has no idea about her husband being a psychopath, and she seems to be happy. Because of my parents raising her, Nina, Nina may have become a sociopath herself, but it has nothing to do with me anymore. Phew, I'm done with my work. Ah, Hibiki sent me a message online. Do you want to watch a movie together? Sounds good, let's go. I'm free from my parents and enjoying my happy life with my friend. I think a relationship in which we respect each other is much more important than your academic background. My name is Shinya. I'm a 20-year-old college student. I attend Titan University. I've always been a bookworm. But I thought that I should make the most out of college life, so I joined an event club. The same classmen are all nice people, and I get along well with all the people in the club. But there's just one little problem. Hey, Shinya! Yikes! He's here. What's with the gloomy face? You need me to punch some energy into you? <laughs> I'm good. Ah, come on, don't be a party pooper. Just let me get one good one into your shoulder. What kind of stupid request is that? This guy was my problem. A fourth year named Daisuke. You guys know that guy too, right? That guy who still thinks he's in high school and just brags about how strong he is and how many people he beat up back then? Like an overgrown high school jock? Back in my junior year of high school, these three gang members wanted a piece of me! What? 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 I gave it to him pretty bad with these scales! What? What? Sick, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Here we go again. For the millionth time. What? 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 Oh man, I just want to kick some ass! I always wonder though. Is this guy even that strong? First of all, shut up with all that wap wap. The next day... All right, let's do another take from a different angle. Ah, uh, no, no more, please. Huh? What's Daisuke doing? Huh? Oh, Shinya, perfect timing, dude. Yikes, he found me. Here, hold the camera. Huh? The camera? I'm making a kick-ass video right now. It's a sparring series. Huh? Um, what do you mean? Are you dumb? 
YouTube, bro. Duh. YouTube. See, I made a new channel the other day. Entertainment Boxer Die Tube. Sum it up, y'all. Daisuke? You're a YouTuber now? What a lame channel. Yep. I've been planning this for a while now. And now that I've got a job lined up, I decided to go for it. What? <laughs> I see. So you're like an entertainer and a boxer? That's right. Perfect for me, right? What? 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 Jeez. He seems serious about it. Does this guy have to say WAP after every sentence? But you aren't a boxer, are you? Huh? Who cares? I've got fighting experience back in high school, so it's all good. You're supposed to overhype yourself on YouTube, don't you know? So for my first series, I'm going to go around and challenge random people to a sparring match. BAM! Ah, jeez. Oh, I've seen other famous YouTubers do the exact same thing. First of all, it's such bad technique, and he's sparring people outside, and he's just beating up on, like, the weakest looking kids ever. Aren't you supposed to be challenging people who look strong at least? Oh, I found a perfect opponent! Another gentle looking kid? Come with me, Shinya! Uh, no. Let's not. I continued to try to stop him, but he wouldn't listen, and he kept challenging random students to a sparring match. Of course, the only kids he chose were obviously gentle and nerdy-looking kids. Daisuke! Even if it's a YouTube video, you shouldn't be going around causing trouble to all these people that aren't even asking for it. Stop trying to force them to do it. At least pick people who are willing- Shut up! Oh, I know. You do it. Huh? That'll make it easier, right? I'm a genius. No way! No one wants me to spar you! What? Oh, I get it. You're scared, aren't you? Huh? Well, I don't blame you. You know me well, so you're scared, right? You're always so scared of my punches, and you know how fast I am. Whap, whap, whap! Uh... Yeah, I'd be scared if I was you, too. You wouldn't last 20 seconds. I guess I can't count on any of the club members to spar me. Everyone's too scared of me. Uh, I've had enough with this guy! He's so annoying! <gasps> I know! The school festival is next week! Maybe I can save everyone if I can teach this guy a lesson! All I have to do is... Go like this and that and... The day of the school festival... Alrighty! I'm going to make my videos go viral today! You can do this, Daisuke! Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't let go of that camera, alright? Gotcha! Daisuke was hyped up even more than usual today. He even went to the boxing club to borrow a stage. But as usual, he kept talking to quiet-looking kids. Of course, they all said no. But even all of that just made him more confident. He said that the only reason why they were saying no was because he was too strong. He was so full of himself. Be the ref! Me? Ah, it ain't easy being too strong. Help me find someone, Shinya. Ah, uh, here we go. All right then, what about that guy? Huh? Oh, that guy looks perfect! A sparring match? Yep, think of it as a good experience. Come on, I even have a costume for you! Uh... Okay then. Nice! You're more fun than you look. Alright, follow me! Alright, here we go! Our main event today! The 3 minute sparring challenge against Daisuke Kuramoto! The first challenger is Keisuke Sonata! My name is Meika Shingeki from the school festival committee and I'll be your host today! What's going on over there? Looks exciting! Let's check it out! Whoa! Look at the host! She's so cute! I was thinking the same thing! Whap, whap, whap! Oh, Daisuke looks ready! <laughs> I'm gonna be famous after this! Compared to him, Keisuke looks quite calm! I hope he'll be okay! I'll hold that for you. Thanks. Oh, he's so scared! Man, I found the perfect punching bag! <laughs> Ten seconds until the bell! What will be the outcome of this battle? Why do I have to do this? Mika, she's like really getting into it. Listen up! Come at me with everything you've got, alright? 
Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. But if you don't give it your all, this is going to end too quickly and everyone's going to be disappointed, you hear? Uh, okay. If you say so. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the first guy, so I'm going to knock him out in a heartbeat. They're all going to love me. Take my one-two combo. You're finished. Ah! <laughs> uh, um, and he's down. What a punch. Keisuke knocks Daisuke down with a single punch. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, Keisuke used to be a real delinquent. You guessed it. This was all a setup. Keisuke and I are from the same town. We're childhood friends. He's calmed down quite a bit and may not look like it, but he's training to be a professional boxer someday. Did I go overboard? You said he was experienced, so I hit him pretty hard. No worries. Daisuke always brags about how strong he is. This is probably all an act to hype up the audience anyways. I see. He's got some incredible acting skills. Daisuke's not getting up! Wait. Hold on! <laughs> Wait. Is this... No. Really? Hey, did he piss his pants? Oh, you're right! <laughs> He's so weak! Oh, crap! Mmm. <laughs> what a loser! And the winner is. Keisuke Sonata! Is this. what you wanted? Yeah, nice, Keisuke! That was sweet! And so my revenge on Daisuke was complete. I was completely satisfied after watching Daisuke humiliate himself in front of a huge crowd. But this incident led to something even more unexpected. Huh? The company dropped you? Yeah, man! Someone put that embarrassing video up online and it's going viral! Oh, it must be some of those nerdy kids that Daisuke beat up on. Those guys seem pretty knowledgeable about the internet. The company got complaints about how they were about to hire some guy that bullies weak kids! And they said that they couldn't hire someone who had no digital literacy! What am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, Daisuke was bragging about the company that hired him on social media, so it was probably really easy to pinpoint him. Obviously, Daisuke's YouTube channel was closed after that, and he started job hunting again, but he couldn't find anything. Rumor is, he's still crying in a corner somewhere. Come on! Someone! Anyone! Please hire me! After everything that happened, Daisuke stopped showing up in front of us. Peace was restored in our club again. Hey, did you hear? Daisuke used to be a geek back in high school. Yeah, it was all over social media. It said that he gave up on boxing lessons after one month because it was too tough for him. All of his stories about fights are probably lies too. I imagine Daisuke is going to have a hard life. I reminded myself not to live a life full of lies that could come back and bite me in my ass. My name is Shohei. I'm on the baseball team, and this summer is our last tournament. Hey! The ball's coming your way! Third base! Ah! Hey, don't worry about it. Switch gears. Man, I shouldn't be on third. You should, Shohei. What are you talking about? It was just a small mistake. Plus, the coach is counting on you. Just have more faith in yourself. Shohei, maybe you should just apologize to coach. No, anything but that. The fall of my junior year, the coach changed, and my baseball life took an unexpected turn. The name's Makihara. I'll be your new coach. Let's make one thing clear. I value guts and respect over skill. Get that in your heads right now. The new coach, Makihara, was a traditional man. And as time went by, I started hearing more and more complaints from my teammates about his ways. So I went and talked to him to ask him to change his ways for us, but... Are you disrespecting me, kid? There's no place on this team for a punk like you! You think your position as a starting member is solid? Think again! An arrogant fool like you can sit on the benches till you graduate! Ever since then, the coach didn't even let me play in practice games. And here we are, approaching the final tournament of my high school life. He gave me a different menu for practice as well. Running laps, cleaning up, and other kinds of stupid chores. Just like Shintaro said, if I apologized, things may get better for me. 
but honestly, I'd rather cheer for the team from the sidelines than apologize to Makihara. The tournament began, and our team got through the preliminaries, and we were almost about to go to the district finals. But our next game was against one of the strongest teams in our league. It might be our final game of the season. I was on my way to the game, when I noticed a lady on the ground in a dark alleyway. <laughs> Are you okay, ma'am? I'll call an ambulance right away! Hang in there! She was a pregnant lady, and she was having terrible labor pains. Apparently she had been struggling in that alley for over 10 minutes, and she needed help quick. Fortunately, I made it in time, and the baby was delivered successfully as well. I was very relieved. The game is about to start. I better go. I'm sorry for being late, coach! Huh? Oh, you. I didn't even notice you weren't here. I was helping a pregnant lady on my way here. That's why I'm late. What? Nice lie. Huh? No, it's true. Whatever. You probably just slept in, right? You think you can fool me with your stupid lies? Huh? I'm not lying, though. Whatever. You don't even deserve to be in the dugout. Get out of here! Okay, if you say so. But it's the final tournament. Let me at least root from the stands. No, I said go home. You're a substitute player anyways. A punk like you doesn't deserve to be anywhere near this game. I could feel my rage about to explode towards my coach who didn't even try to listen to a word I said. But it was the middle of the game, and I didn't want to ruin the atmosphere. So I left without making a scene, and cheered for my team from outside the stadium. Our team ended up losing. After the loss, my teammates were huddled together and crying in disappointment, but all I could do was watch from afar. Damn it. If I can't even share that feeling of bitterness with them, all these years on the team, for nothing. I was walking away slowly with my shoulders down, when some old guy suddenly started talking to me. Hey! Are you Shohei from Titan High? I haven't seen you play for a while. Are you injured? Who are you? Oh, my bad. You can call me Okada. I'm just a big baseball fan. <laughs> you know me? Of course. I've had my eye on you since you were a freshman. You had it in you. But it must have been painful for Makihara to not be able to use you because of an injury. I'm not injured. My coach, he... I told this stranger everything I had bottled up inside for the past year. He just quietly nodded and listened to me. Alright then. Leave it up to me. That's all he said, and walked away. It was the first time that I had ever complained to anybody. And honestly, I felt much lighter. But at the same time, I regretted the past three years. A few days later... Morning assembly, everyone! Hurry up! Come on! Ahem. The other day, our baseball team almost made it to the district finals. They were so close. I'd like to praise the team and ask the coach for a few words. Hello, everyone. My name is Makihara. I'm the coach of the baseball team. Our team really gave it their all this year. We spent so much time together building a deep and personal relationship with each other. I truly feel like they're all my own children. So I'm very sad that we couldn't make it to the district finals. Yeah, right. Children? What a load of crap. It was never a family. It was just a dictatorship. Today, one of the board members from the Baseball Association is here to praise me too. Mr. Okada, the stage is yours. Huh? Did he say Okada? The man who came up on stage was that guy I talked to at the game. I had no idea that he was an important figure in the baseball community. Hey folks, you guys can call me Okada. What? That old guy was a board member? I thought he was just a random drunk. Hmm. Well, you know what I think about Makihara? <laughs> As a leader, he's pretty much garbage. Huh? From what I hear, you never gave the players any technical guidance. The players just handed down the teachings from the previous coach amongst themselves, right? And I heard that you were never satisfied, seeing how tired your overworked players were. Mr. Okada, what are you- And those sign plays were Little League level. I'm impressed that you guys got as far as you did with a leader like that. I'd like to praise the players for that. Honestly, you guys could have probably won that last one, too. Uh, what? Contrary to what Makihara expected, Mr. Okada continued to criticize him, and the players started getting antsy, too. He's right! After Shintaro got hurt and had to be benched, an inexperienced guy like me took his place! I don't blame the other team for bombarding me! Yeah, if we had Shohei on third, we could have easily won that game. And the third inning? 
That should have definitely been a safety bunt. Yeah, but he gets really mad when we try to make any suggestions about strategy. You brats! Oh, and from what I hear, you treat players that you don't like as if they don't exist. Right, Shohei? Huh? Oh yes, that's right, sir. Last fall, I suggested other training menus besides long-distance runs, but he must have not liked it, because he never let me play after that. Shut up! You were the one who was all full of yourself just because you were a starting member! He's been a starting member since freshman year! That's why he took it upon himself to talk to you on behalf of all of us, sir! And Shohei has never been arrogant! He's always treated all of us as equals! Shintaro... First off, this guy came late on that important day lying about saving someone or something! Those kinds of stupid lies ruin the team's spirit! That's why I took him off! Like I said, I wasn't lying. Well, even if you weren't, it just shows your priorities. You were in no position to be helping other people out. You should have been there before all of us and finished all the extra work! I might have at least used you as a pinch hitter! About that, Shohei really was helping someone out. Huh? How would you know- Well, that girl he saved is my daughter. What?! See? Standing back there with my lovely grandchild? Oh! The lady from that day! Thanks! It's all thanks to you that my daughter is here with me today! Thank you so much! Oh, how cute! I can't wait to hold her in my arms again! Makihara just crumbled to the ground. He had made mistakes every step of the way. How dare you ruin the baseball career of the young man who saved my daughter's life! How do you plan to take responsibility for this? Uh, I... I'm so sorry! I regret everything! I don't need your cheap words! You're fired! You hear me? I don't want you near players ever again! Fired? Wait, is this what I think it is? You're banished! Now get out of here! No! No! Makihara was planning on coaching. But not only did he get fired from my school, but he got banished from the entire world of baseball. He seemed shocked at his punishment. Shohei, sorry for not helping you. Don't worry about it. If you would have tried, you would have just ended up where I was. If I was in your shoes, I'm not sure if I could have either. Shohei, you won't quit playing though, will you? I want to play baseball with you again, Shohei! Shintaro, I won't quit. I'll continue to play. After we graduated, we joined an amateur baseball league together. It's just for fun, but we continue to play together. Just in case you were wondering what happened to Makihara... Hey kids! I'll help you go pro. Watch carefully, alright? Um... we're good. Don't be shy. Alright, show me what you got. What's this old man's problem? He's crazy. I'm gonna go get my mom. He went around to random parks and tried to force baseball down random kids' throats. But the parents caught on and reported him. And now he's treated as some creep. I'm striving to be a high school baseball coach someday. And remind myself not to become a selfish leader like Makihara. I'm Ichi. Today I'd like to share with you an experience I had in my fifth grade. Okay, class. Before we say our goodbyes for the day, I'd like to give away today's stamps. In Yoko Wada's class, there's a stamp system the class went by. On the first day of the semester, everybody will carry with them this stamp card for the year. Ooh, stamps! Sounds like fun! It's kind of like a summer radio exercise program. If you behave in a good way, you get good behavior stamps. The more you have, the more privileges you get. You get to choose your preference of lunch meal, you can get out of cleaning chores and homework, and other things as well. On the other hand, if you get bad behavior stamps, you will miss out on lunch meals, you'll have classroom cleaning chores for a whole week, and you'll have double the homework amount. What? What kind of rule is this? Looks like we already have someone who isn't behaving well. Talking when the teacher is talking, you two get three bad behavior stamps each. What? You're kidding, right? What? That's too much! Talking back. That's one extra bad behavior stamp. Starting tomorrow, you two are in charge of all the classroom cleaning chores. What? 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 Your clothing is a bit flashy. It's hard on my eyes, so you get a bad behavior stamp. What? Your teacher is nicely telling you, so you need to say thank you. Th thank you? The way you played soccer today was very selfish. You may have experience, but we don't need students who can't play cooperatively. 
sorry. Thank you. Three months passed, and still today, the stamp system exists. Nobody can go against the teacher. We all just have to listen to whatever she says. Ichi-kun, Okamoto-kun, you two were listening very earnestly in class today. I will give you both a good behavior stamp. Thank you very much. The standards of the stamps are very unclear, and it's probably all based on the teacher's preference. To the students that she likes or students that are wealthy, she praises them for even little things and gives them good behavior stamps. Okay, if you have 20 bad behavior stamps this month, please raise your hand. Me. My, my, it's you again. You're always not good for anything, aren't you? As punishment, you're in charge of all of this week's classroom cleaning chores. And on top of that, you have to clean all the bathrooms on this floor. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> There's no point of crying. This is what they call laws of society. We as elementary school students didn't understand yet what society is like. We thought everything the teacher said was the truth. We lost hope for the future thinking that society is filled with this kind of discrimination. During the French Revolution, political dispute broke out and... Oh shoot! I forgot my eraser! Do you want to use mine? Sorry! Thank you! Oops! Sorry, Mika! The eraser broke! It's okay, don't worry about it. Mikasan! What do you think you're doing? Talking without permission! S sorry Hey! It's not her fault! I borrowed Mika's eraser and I broke it, so I was just apologizing! I started talking to her first! Ichi-kun, you are so nice. So su such a gentleman trying to cover for her. No, you're making a mistake! And Mika-san, all you can say is sorry. Uh, um... Do you know how uncomfortable it makes me feel seeing this kind of frightened attitude from you? You're here to learn in class, but yet you put so much effort into your hairstyle and clothing style. Are you trying to attract guys? N no that's not what I mean to do. Class will be interrupted. Mika-san, come up to the front and apologize to everybody. What? Everybody can't take the class because of you, so of course you need to apologize. Hurry up and come to the front. Okay. Sorry. One more time. Sorry. I can't hear you. I'm really sorry. Class, make sure you remember what you're seeing. This is what you call a person who is unfit for society. You wouldn't want to be like this, right? LOL. Lol. Sorry. <laughs> it's my fault Mika is being treated like this. It's my fault. Mika was apologizing for 20 minutes straight until the bell rang. The teacher was trying to teach a lesson to the class, but I couldn't take any of it in. I was just regretting how much of a pathetic person I was. Today was pretty bad. Mr. Chairman? Just call me Okamoto. Are you frustrated, Ichi? I'm super frustrated! It was hard for me to watch, too. Ichi... Will you cooperate with me? Cooperate? What are you planning to do? A revolution. <gasps> what? On the day of the revolution? Okay, class. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. Class visitation day. Let's show your parents a usual happy and cheerful class. Today, I would like everybody to read their essay about their future dream. I was impressed with everybody's very well-written essays. Who would like to present first? I will! Okay, Ichi-kun, please present your essay. My future dream is to become a teacher! Hm? Ichi-kun, I thought your dream was to become a programmer. I would like to become an amazing teacher like Miss Yoko Wada! <gasps> I'm flattered! I'm so glad I became a teacher! Because the teacher lets us experience the harshness of society! Thanks to the teacher's amazing lessons, we are prepared to overcome social disparity that we would have to eventually face. Because of... Thanks to our teacher... I hate this class! What? What is the meaning of this? This about social studies class? Stop, Ichikun! Why is she saying stop? Isn't she panicking? There's so much to tell, I can't say it all myself. Somebody, 
Explain to our parents how amazing our teacher is. I will. The teacher praises me for the smallest thing and gives me great privileges. She allows me to get lots of desserts and lets me off the hook for homework. I've never even had to do cleaning chores. This is the first time I've been in a class with such a tense atmosphere. The students who are on the teacher's good side are the ones who have their freedom. We were taught that our classmates aren't friends, but rather rivals. It definitely is an epitome of society. It's all thanks to this stamp system. We strive to get good behavior stamps. By the way, what happens if you get a bad behavior stamp? I... I was forced to clean the toilet with my bare hands. I said I didn't want to, but I was forced. My, my favorite shirt was ripped. She said it was too flashy and she didn't like it. But Tomo-chan, who was on the teacher's good side, was wearing the same clothes. It was just mine that was ripped. I, I was forced to apologize in front of the class for 20 minutes for an unfair reason. <laughs> you guys. Everybody forgot about the fear of getting bad behavior stamps and started talking about everything that happened. And the class became chaotic. The parents watching from behind were all suspiciously looking at the teacher. Uh, everybody calm down! Miss Wada, what is the meaning of this? Vice Principal, this is not what it looks like. There is a reason for all of this. I just want to prepare the students to become strong and be able to face the unfairness of society. Please understand. You are just trying to take your stress out on them. When the teacher tried to make excuses, somebody's voice was heard. Who are you? Who's the one saying such irresponsible things? Society is filled with unfair things. That doesn't mean it's necessary to have them experience that for no reason. You're just raising adults that will repeat unreasonable actions by doing that. What? You're just a parent. Don't act like you know everything and lecture me. Yes, I am a parent. I'm your parent, Yoko. <gasps> what? F father I invited him. As a board member of the education committee, I wanted him to see how amazing his own daughter was as a teacher. B board member? Yoko, I don't want to talk here. Come home tonight. We have important things to talk about. Y yes father Our revolution successfully ended, and of course the teacher was fired. Her teaching license was taken away as well. And of course, the stamp system was gone, and everybody in the class started getting along with each other. I'm excited to come to school every day, thanks to you two. This was my worst and best memory of my elementary school days. The other day, at the coming of age ceremony... Long time no see, Ichi. Hey, Mika. Your character is so different as a charismatic cram school teacher. What are you talking about? You see each other from time to time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. How's college? My cute students, long time no see. How are you guys doing? <gasps> Wada? Mika-san, I heard rumors about you. A charismatic Korean school teacher. I heard you plan on becoming an elementary school teacher. Is that true? Yeah? I knew it. I thought you had potential becoming a great teacher. I have a great idea. I also want to teach together with you. No, thank you. Please, go home. Excuse me. This person seems like she's not feeling well. Can you take her? What? Hey! Wait! I want to become a teacher again! She aged so much since the last time we saw her. I couldn't bear to watch. She was still making a scene outside the venue, and so the guards took her away.